I was headed toward base. I was going the wrong way, and I just happened to be at the right place at the right time. I looked to my right, and I saw something out of the ordinary. That night, I was trying to move an entertainment system out to the road. It had We had broken the bottom shelf, and I forgot about the bottom shelf being broken, and it was glass. So when I got to the road, went to lower the entertainment system, and when I did, it went through the back of my leg. I turned around, and I pulled into the sheriff's driveway. So I ended up making it to my stairs, and that's when uh, Sergeant Collette asked, he came and drove by. He said, you need help? I was like, yeah, man, come here. You know, I need help bad. In my mind, I knew he was kind of panicking, so I had to try to stay calm. At the same time, we both kept each other calm, kept each other in conversation. He asked if I had a tourniquet, told him I had one on my duty belt, uh, which was in the back of my house. So he, uh, he picked me up, he dragged me through my house. He put his arm over my shoulder, walked to the house, got his tourniquet, was able to apply it, and I was able to get towels and something to, put, to elevate his leg until the ambulance got there, until the fire department got there. I'm not knowing if he has any combat experience or whatnot, but him being that guy, being strong, being having a strong mind to pick me up, throw me through the house, and put a tourniquet on me, that's rare nowadays. A lot of people don't have that. I've done the triple threat. I've done Iraq, Afghanistan, Africa. And when I went to Africa to be there, you had to take triple C training, which is combat casualty care training. And I learned there how to apply a tourniquet. After the incident, I felt a little shaken. I'm not going to sit here in front about it. Like I said, I hadn't seen anything like that since I had left. Afghanistan, it was kind of surreal to be able to help somebody in that situation and be able to help help him get to the hospital and whatnot and, and reassure his wife like everything's gonna be okay. But why I did it was because it was the right thing to do. Sergeant Club wouldn't have stopped. I'm not guaranteed I'd be sitting here today. Don't be afraid to stop. Don't be afraid to ask that question. Don't be afraid to turn around. Because you don't know, turning around could help save somebody's life. To me, it encourages people to be courageous that a total stranger stopped and helped another total stranger. He didn't have to stop and help me. He could have kept driving and never looked back. The fact is he did stop. He was that guy and he did do the right thing at the time.